So that, that kind of, I suppose, moves us nicely over to, to the use of automation because mm -hmm. LinkedIn have tried to use automation. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but they've got this little magic wand on, on the messaging um, on, on LinkedIn where it does like a chat GPT based prospecting message. Um, and I think there's only like two versions. I'll show you, didn't know. There was like yeah, two was options or something. Are they actually using chat GPT or are you just using that as a... I'm just using that as like a baseline. Yeah. Um, I would yeah. imagine it's using chat GPT. I don't well, know because that was shit compared to right, so, well, no, no, no. Right, it's LinkedIn who are owned, who are owned by Microsoft, and it's their only large language model is ChatGPT through an AI that's commercially available. So it's a LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. Do you know yeah. that? No, nah, that's blown my mind. Really? <laughs> yeah. Listen, no. I'm. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, I, I, no, uh, my life is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am. Five years or so, maybe. Breaking news. Yeah, I, I'm happy to admit that when it comes to tech, this is my guy. Like, I just. I, I, need and I to get just, all my info from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can cut me out and just go straight to him. Yeah. But when it comes to the other stuff, I could do that. But, like, yeah, I didn't realise things were so bad. I mean, Darren's been chatting shit about WordPress websites recently. That's making me really nervous. Well, what's happening with WordPress? Oh, well, don't get me started. No. no. Got, how long have we got? Not long. <laughs> not long. Not long, Darren, please. So anyway. Unless go. they're made by your guy, because he's really, he's the number one at recruitment. Well, yeah, yeah. Tristan. Tristan's the... Uh, Tristan, yeah. sorry. Apologies, Tristan. That's all right. Tristan, come into the shot and give us a wave. Yeah, come on, Tristan. <laughs> give us a wave, I'm really joking, Dad. You hate it. But yeah, we're only number two. Tristan knocked us off the top spot as soon as he started making WordPress websites. WordPress, just to cut that one off, they're as good as the people that build them. And they're as good as the amount of maintenance that you let those people That's the key, deliver. Yeah. Are they owned by Microsoft too? Stop. He's just scared. Of, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. Everything he's owned. Yeah. 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 These mics. They're going to cut them off in a minute. When you said earlier, Sean, that you like to think of yourself as clever, that like was operative, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I was being I genuine. Enjoy yeah. It. Yeah. 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 LinkedIn proved it. Yeah. Right. So. Um, but, so LinkedIn have obviously introduced this automation piece, which by the sound of it sounds like it's from ChatGPT. It's more than likely on yeah. ChatGPT, and it was <clears> awful. But it, it is, it, like... ChatGPT and, and other automation, all that sort of stuff, is encroaching into every part of, of, of our business, right? So for for recruitment, I mean, we do a lot on AI with, with, with Rectors and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. then I guess, would it not work for you, Darren, when you're building websites, having like the content put on a, a, a website using ChatGPT? Was is that, was that gonna be a time saver? So I, I think the... Um Automation tools are definitely going in the right direction with content, and you know that I use your blogging tool. Um, and you've got obviously the goat's opinion, Mitch Sullivan, on the on the job, uh, writing advert piece. Um, he I, didn't like it. I, I don't have of any problem. He didn't like it. He didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have any problem with the with those tools because they they give you a starting point, if nothing else. And if I'm sitting there trying to create blogs for a customer, um, the the biggest problem is coming up with the idea in the first place if, if yeah. I just don't want to go to Google itself or you know what's the top 25 blogs for a education you know and that type of thing yeah. um, and I think what those tools do is they bring out some idea stimulation and get you past that stage some of the content they produce is good enough straight out of the box mm -hmm. and I think again from a website point of view your website's got to do um, please four people. It's got to please you from your branding point of view. It's got to please your um, customers from customer level information point of view and the candidates the same. But it's also got to keep Google happy. Mm -hmm. And Google is not that bright at all, right? It's like a two-year-old child. So... <laughs> Chat GPT blog posts. Clip that. <laughs> Google, Google is like a two year old child. child. Darren well, Rowell. You know, they will, they, they will feel, feed into that part mm -hmm. of Google's algorithm. You can easily confuse it. Yeah. Um, I think where people are getting confused is they think that the blog needs to be, you know, like Einstein about your industry or your sector or your knowledge. And that's why you employ people like the marketing junction because they write you the Einstein level quality. Oh, right. Oh, man. That's and then you want that. you want to clip that. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Yeah. Yeah. And, Apologies. And then then you want to go on to rec tools and oh, yeah. use the blog oh, writing tool for the SEO cannon fodder type material. So are you saying then that that using AI is more of a kind of a way to avoid writer's block or kind of overcome that writer's block piece? It's a way to avoid writer's block, but it's also a you know a grinding tool. Lots of content is pure grind. Yeah. 
And as I said, you can't, you know, if you come to me for an SEO strategy, then 60, 70% of that strategy will be to grind out content just for Google's algorithm, right? And as I say, that's a different level of content to what you're going to charge. I think put that, in front that of a copywriter decision. argument that's out there at the minute with a lot, of, a lot of content specialists and copywriters are really kind of attacking things like GPT and Bard and all the other. Well, there's one particular lot. copywriter yeah, we were talking yeah. about yesterday and, and that was really kind of yeah, good. Yeah, I, I like her, so I'm not going to name drop her and stuff, but she's got a real issue with like people using AI. But the issue I've got is if I want to write a blog about invoice financing, I'm well, not I the invoice bother. financing section, uh, <laughs> the specialist. I, I need your input on it. Mm-hmm. You're not going to write a blog for me because you're not a copywriter. Mm-hmm. So the nearest thing I've got to somebody who understands that industry better than me and can put together a string together a blog that looks presentably enough to read it's AI. is AI. Mm-hmm. And then I can put my own input and be like, oh, hang on, that, that's a bit Americanized. We'll change that and we'll change this. And there you go. I've got a pretty decent blog. Because if I am a web development business who's been engaged by an invoice financing business to make their website and chuck in about 10 blogs to get me started... Well, I'm not a specialist in your field, mm. and nor is that copywriter that I'm engaging with, because I can tell you now, that copywriter is just very, very good with words. Yeah. He or she is not good at understanding the nuances of your industry, the nuances of your industry, whatever it is you do. 